Hello, my name is Ross Thomas and it's uh, my great pleasure to have been invited to talk to you for a moment about my latest book and some books that have inspired me over the uh, past few years. Um, so first up, with no further ado, it's mine. It's called Night Hawking. Um, this is available from the 29th of April at your local Waterstones. I believe Waterstones have a very lovely um, exclusive signed edition as well, if you're interested. Um, it follows on from my debut novel Fire Watching that came out last year. Um, you don't need to have read that to enjoy this, um, although of course I'd really love it if you went out and bought that too. Um, it it's, features my detective DS Adam Tyler and his cold case squad, who, um, which basically consists of one other person and that's newly promoted Detective Constable Mina Rabani. And it opens with somebody breaking into Sheffield's Botanical Gardens with a metal detector and digging up more than they bargained for in the form of something grisly. I think you can probably guess what. Uh, it was great fun to write, uh, especially looking into the various um, activities of night hawkers, um, who are people who basically go out under cover of darkness, digging up private land, trying to find treasure to sell. Um, and it, it is an illegal practice, and I talk about more about it on the Waterstones blog if, you, if you're interested in finding out more about, about that concept. That's probably enough about that. Night hawking. Please, please do go and buy it. So I've chosen three very different books to talk about. First up is Stephen King, Misery. Um, I probably could have picked any number of Stephen King books for this, but I chose Misery because it very it does something very clever in writing um, and, and something that Stephen King I think is particularly brilliant for and that's the way he manages to sort of mix plot and character together and combine them to, to create this fantastic um, uh, story. Um, it's a terrifying, just brilliant adventure story. Um, it's about a writer called um, Paul Sheldon who um, is famous for writing a particular uh, strand of novels following the same character, um, something familiar there, and uh, he's had enough of it and he decides to kill off this character and, um, and but, but he's involved in a terrible car accident and is rescued, in inverted commas, by one of his biggest fans. Um, what follows is a sort of cat and mouse chase as Paul tries to escape and his fan Annie tries to keep him hostage so that he'll uh, revise his manuscript and bring back to life the character that she loves so much. Um, so if you've never read it, check it out or check out the film as well because it's brilliant, but read it first. Um, secondly, and again I probably could have chosen anything by this author, um, it's Lee Child's latest book The Sentinel which he's written in conjunction with his brother Andrew um, who's taking over the reins on the Jack Reacher books. Jack Reacher, probably more than any other character, has influenced my creation of Adam Tyler. Not because they're similar in any particular ways. They, they are, in, to some extent, they're both sort of outliers, I suppose. Um, but they are very different characters. But just the way he's created this rounded, wonderful character um, who just keeps coming back again and again. Um, I, I'm in awe of, of his skill and the way he, he writes so brilliantly. Um, and and his brother Andrew does as well, I can attest to that fact. Finally, and on a very different note, I've got the Poisonwood Bible by Barbara Kingsolver. I first read this probably when I, back when I first started taking writing seriously and thought it's something I'd like to do. And it's just a beautiful book um, in terms of setting, history, culture, gender uh, or identity it's, it's it's fantastic it talks about religion it talks it covers everything um it's set in 1959 and uh in the congo and it's about a reverend well it's more about the reverend's wife and his four daughters and they he he takes them all to the Co belgian congo in 1959 to sort of spread the word of god and gets into all kinds of trouble because of it um but the story's told alternatively from the mother's perspective and the four daughters, mainly the, the daughters. Um, it's brilliant. It's a little reminiscent of Little Women, 
um, but a sort of much more modern, darker version. It's so terrifying in places, but very, very funny in other places. Um, the characters, the setting, it's just brilliant. It, if, if I had a Desert Island book, I would take this with me um, every, every day of the week. So thank you for indulging me. I really hope you enjoy Nighthawking and visit waterstones.com. Thanks very much.